Good morning, YouTube family. Uh, it's Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Services. Uh, most many of you know, if you watch the channel, any I'm also pastor of a local church, and uh, I just wanted to uh, share with you real quick uh, a little bit from a message yesterday morning. Title of the message: We're going through the Gospel of John, and the title of the message was simply this: Peace. We're in John chapter fourteen, and Jesus telling his disciples, uh, he says. My peace I give you. And we thought about this idea of peace. And there are two things about peace that we need to understand. First of all, humanity needs peace with God. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The reality of it is... Uh, no matter how good we may think we are, is that man by nature is sinful and in opposition to God. And we need the grace of God in order to have peace with God. The Bible teaches that before we're saved, that we are at enmity with God. We are literally enemies of God. We are in opposition to God. And so being justified by faith, uh, receiving the gift of salvation that God offers to us through the person of Jesus Christ, uh, gives us peace with God. It takes away any fear of condemnation or judgment or the wrath to come. But not only do we get peace with God at salvation, uh, we live in a world that's chaotic. We're all dealing with problems and difficulties. Uh, you know, the world's in chaos just in the news this week. Um, a gunman in a church actually last Sunday in a Texas church. Uh, of course, in Nigeria, there were some Christians uh, killed for their faith. Um, and then, of course, we got the deal going on in Iran, just a daily grind of problems and difficulties. And sometimes that causes in our lives anxiety and worry. And one of the other passages that I shared yesterday with our congregation comes from Philippians chapter 4. If you are a Christian or if you spend very much time in the Bible, you'll probably recognize this passage. But in Philippians chapter 4, beginning in verse 4, the Bible says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. And here's the passage we know. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And here it is in verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through um, Christ Jesus. There is a uh, there is peace with God through justification, but there is also the peace of God, and that's simply knowing that. Listen, uh, in life, um, it's it's been said that peace is you know peace is not uh, us not having problems and difficulties in our life. Peace is not the absence of problems, but it's an assured presence of God. Just knowing that God is there, that He'll never leave us, that He'll never fa forsake us, knowing that. All things work together for good to those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. Even though it might not seem good, it might not seem pleasant at the time, uh, Paul is teaching us not to be anxious, but to take our request and lay them before uh, the throne of grace and just trust God uh, in the midst of difficulties and hardships. And so uh, I hope for somebody today, uh, man, maybe you're watching this channel and you're not a child of God, and hey, you need to know that you need peace with God. You need to be justified. You need to be forgiven of your sins. And I say that just as humbly and as lovingly as I can, but uh, the greatest need of all of humanity is the gospel of Jesus Christ for us to be rescued from our sin uh, and the wrath to come for that sin if we don't accept the gift of salvation. And then number two, even for a child of God, this morning, uh, you may be going through difficulties and hardships and, and you're just burdened down. You're, you're, you're burdened with a load of care. And the reality of it is, uh, God doesn't want that for you. He wants you to trust Him, uh, and He wants you to have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. So, anyway, uh, I hope this was an encouragement to somebody. I'm hoping to do uh, a big property this afternoon, and so hopefully I'll get some footage of that. But, uh, anyway, just want to share that with y'all this morning. Hope that you have a great day. Hope that your week is off to a great start. And uh, appreciate you watching the channel. Uh, if you enjoy this content, uh, please look down at the bottom, hit that subscribe button, and click the little bell so that you can get notifications from Cleaning, cleaning Green Lawn Services here in South Georgia. Have a great day, and God bless. Gerald.